you know guys change is inevitable uh, sorry for the sound you know all this is ridiculous and my glasses tend to get sweaty when I wear my mask. But anyway, change is inevitable, something that happens every day. So we need to learn how to use it. And I'm going to tell you how we did it in the school here at Amuse Bush. But first I will make a coffee for myself because it's 10.30 in the morning and I just arrived at the school, All right? Cheers. All right, so let me tell you how we deal here with the problems that uh, we are facing right at this moment. It's the fact that we're not able to work. I'm uh, in one of the kitchens of the cooking school where I work, a muse bush. Um, and uh, we are getting ready for something that we have started just a couple of weeks ago, like four or five. Uh, our main problem was that after the quarantine hit um, on March 13th, uh, we were not able to have our classes here at the school because we do cooking classes and people usually come here, cook and then eat and then we go each our own way. So uh, we had a problem. We didn't have any way to do our classes here at the school. So we had to figure out something else. We had to go with the flow. We had to pivot. Um, something that I'm really fond of. Uh, we have been pivoting for a long time. We have moved from um, having a store to having a cooking school and then I'm pivoting to um, doing more social media and more uh, creative stuff here on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all over the place. And by the way, thank you guys that you're watching uh, this video. Um, you can hit the subscribe button if you like, you can hit the bell uh, if you wanna see the next videos that I'm posting and you can visit my website. Uh, it's uh, linked down in the description um, and you can read more of my thoughts if you're interested in them. Uh, so let me go back to what I was talking about. Uh, when the crisis, when the, the quarantine started, uh, we were not able to have our classes here. So we were pushed uh, and this gave us the opportunity to, uh, to restart a project that we have already started and we have invested some time in it. Uh, the project is uh, our online classes. We do have two types of online classes since the beginning of uh, this social isolation type thing that we are going through. Uh, we have our video classes, which you can go and watch and watch again and watch again and watch again over a three month period. And we have started this idea about a year ago. Unfortunately, because we were comfortable with what was going on, our classes were going fine um, and we were complacent and we thought that this is not a priority and we never actually uh, finished the thing that we started. Something that I talked in my last video right over here, you can see some things that I usually start and never finish. But this uh, situation just gave us the final push and about a uh, week after uh, the social isolation uh, was uh, instituted, we had our first uh, online class, our first video class. And then I started thinking, what else can we do? We have a YouTube channel as this one here. Uh, and again, I'm going to link it right over there and down in the description too. So uh, I decided that we can use Facebook and do live cooking classes. All right, let me take you to the crime scene going upstairs 
where the class is going to start in two minutes.